Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers alternative ways to do breakout rooms in Google Meet. So Google Meet does have a built-in feature for breakout rooms, but that is only available for people who use the enterprise version of G Suite, which means schools that pay for the Google tools. If your school uses the enterprise version, then be sure to check out my video linked down in the description that explains how to use the built-in official breakout room feature. However, if your school uses the free version of the Google Tools, then the Breakout Rooms feature will not be available to you. So in this video, we're going to be looking at a workaround that will let you sort of make your own Breakout Rooms. Since this is just a workaround, it's not perfect, and it's not the only way that this could be done. This is just my suggestion for an alternative way to do breakout rooms. Please feel free to share your workarounds in the comments. Step number one, install the Mute tab Chrome Web Extension. So in this version of breakout rooms, you're going to have to join each of the breakout rooms at the same time so that your students can join them as well. The problem is this will get pretty noisy pretty quick. So my suggestion is to install and use the mute tab extension so that you can mute the breakout rooms and then unmute them one at a time as you check in on your students. You can install the mute tab extension from the Chrome Web Store or just use the short link bit.ly slash mute tab extension to jump right to the installation page. This is a one-time procedure to get the extension installed and ready to use. Step two, choose nicknames for your breakout rooms. So in my opinion, the easiest way to set up your breakout rooms is to use nicknames for the rooms. Google Meet allows you to select easy to remember nicknames when you are creating a Google Meet. So the students can just type in that word when they go to join the Meet. This avoids the need to create, manage, and distribute links to the students. For example, you could just use your last name and the numbers for each of your breakout rooms, such as Kurtz1, Kurtz2, Kurtz 3 and Kurtz 4 if I needed four breakout rooms. You can use these nicknames over and over again all year long anytime you need to split up the students into breakout rooms. Step 3. Start up each of the nicknamed meets. Most likely your school has adjusted the settings so that students are not able to join a Google Meet without a teacher being in the Meet as well. Because of this, you will need to start and join all of the breakout rooms before your students are able to do so. Thankfully, Google allows you to join as many Meets at once as you want. So in this case, I will use the nicknames to start three separate breakout rooms. We will do Kurtz1, and then we'll do Kurtz2, and then we will do Kurtz3. After creating all the breakout rooms, I will now use the Mute tab extension to mute each of these rooms. All I have to do is go to that tab and then go up and click on the Mute tab extension to mute that specific breakout room. I'll do that for all three of my breakout rooms. Later on, I can use the extension to unmute an individual room when I need to check in to see how the students are doing. Step four, divide students into groups. Now that I have each of the breakout rooms started, I need to divide my students into those groups. You can do this any way you want, from manually deciding who goes where or using some randomization tool. For example, a great tool for this is the Flippity Random Name Picker, which pulls students from a Google Sheet that you have prepared. This tool allows you to randomly split students up into a set number of groups or teams as Flippity calls them, such as two groups, 
three groups, four groups, or five groups. For my example, I need my students in three groups. If I want, I can click on the reshuffle button to re-randomize them as much as I need, or I can manually click on students to move them if needed. Now I just need to show this page to my students so they know which breakout room they should go into. Step 5. Have students join the nicknamed Meet for their group. Now that the students know which group they've been assigned to, they can join the Google Meet for that breakout room. As a student, they will go to meet.google.com, then click to join the meeting and type in the nickname for their group, such as Kurtz1 for Group 1, and so on. Now let's go back over to the teacher view. As the students join the breakout rooms, I can click on the tabs at the top to move between the different meets to check in and see how they're doing. Again, here is where I can click on the Mute tab extension up in the top right hand corner to unmute a meet to check in on them and then mute it again when I'm ready to move on to another breakout room. And that's it. If you do not have access to the Enterprise version of Google Meet, this process is one possible way to create your own version of breakout rooms. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meetvideos.